Hey guys, what's up? It's Xsupers here again, and today I'll be reacting to episode 4 of Toradora. So what are we waiting for? Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. Starting now. さっさと起きろ。どうせまた夜更かししたんだろう。電気ついてたの。2時半までは確認済み。だぞ。牛人の耳の穴から米が米が転々と。牛舎に強々。朝飯なら持ってきたよ。温めといてやるから。とりあえ
いや、喜んでんのか私も絶対に茶色っぽくて渋いよそそられるぜじゃ,じゃあ今度みんなの分も作ってくるからあ先輩先輩あのそろそろありゃソフト部のマネージャーだあ,あミーティングか我れ2人とも先食っててくれあのなお前の弁当俺が作ったってあっさり北村にバラしていいのかよせっかく俺とお前は何でもないってことになったのにどうしようどうしようどうしよう落ち着けたくなんでお前は北村が絡むと妙なテンションになるんだいいか俺からはもっと気をつけてえなんだ言いたいことがあるなら飲み込んでから言えよねえ今日のお弁当お肉が入ってないいつもお肉があるうちがいいならそこんちの子になりなさい<笑>ああなんだ北村かこいつ今今早く<笑>分かったよえっと確かシャッターは今よ今ちょっと待てよ今は設定をあもういいそしてハハハハなるほどこうやってあのボケボケ写真が量産されたのかすごい北村君そこそこうわっいっけー<笑>むちゃくちゃ手振ってるぞうるさいわねうんな懐かしいなおお前どうしてこんな写真おう昔写真部がよく商売しててなその中の一枚をじゃなくてなんでお前が大河の写真を<笑>愛坂が好きで入れてたそれだけだええ<笑>まあ告白して1秒後にあっさり言われるんなああ言ってしまったみんなには内緒にしてくれなな,な,な,な,な,なんじゃそりゃ<笑> So that's the history between those two and now she's the one chasing after him なんてもったいないことしょうがないじゃん好きだって言われてびっくりしちゃって断っちゃったっけどでもそれからなんか意識しちゃってそれからなんか,、uh, okay. なんか好きになっちゃったんだもんちょうどここだったあいさかお前のその怒りを隠さないストレートな性格がいい惚れたたむら変な告白だよね褒めてんだかけなしてるんだかでもね嬉しかったいいんだって思えたからそのままの自分を必要としてくれるそんな人がいるんだってなんだろう今不意に浮かんだ大河の暮らすあの部屋が写真
私あんなにあったのにでも一枚もなかったえっ私あの顔が欲しいんだ北村くんが告白してくれたあの時がもう一度ああ誰かに必要とされるそれはタイガにとってどんな意味を持っているんだろうそれにしても本当どうしたよな後から好きになるくらいなら答えなんてすぐ出さないで、yeah, exactly. なインコちゃん北村も北村だよ一度好きになったんだったら責任取って付き合ってやれって、mm, exactly. おインコちゃんもそう思うのかお Yeah, so I kind of agree.、Uh, I didn't know. I mean, I had a feeling that there was something between them before. And I think there were already hints dropped here and there in the past three episodes. But yeah, now we have the confirmation that、uh, Kitamura once had a crush. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say he was in love, but probably had a crush or was infatuated with Taiga. And. Then he got rejected, so he moved on after that. And now, only, only after the rejection, only then did Taiga realize that she started to develop. Well, that's when she started noticing him more. And, so, and then she starts developing feelings for him as well. But he, I don't know if he's already moved on from it. I, I think he must have, at the very least, because being confessed to by the girl that you. Confessed to before but got rejected must have been such a big surprise, must have made him over the moon. Instead, he didn't really give her a clear answer. He just said, you know, it's nice,、uh, we'll probably become friends. And that's it. All right, so I think the show is doing a, a really good job at, even though、uh, I guess I have, I, I had this. Expectation that the show will lead us to the Taiga Ryuji pairing in the end, but it's doing a really good job at you know showing the bumps and turns that they will take in getting there if they do get there in the end. I'm not sure because for now, right now,、uh, it's been pretty unpredictable or Not necessarily unpredictable, but there have been a lot of other details that are just surfacing right now. There are a lot of、um, backstories that we don't know yet. Just the, the one between Kitamura and、uh, Taiga is enough of a shock for me, I guess, because I mean, it's not, it's not a big revelation. There's some hints to it, but there were some hints to it, but it definitely changes your. Opinion or perspective of、uh, you know, the dynamic between them. I would say, as a guy, if I got rejected by a girl,、uh, it's not like I will no longer entertain the idea of going out with her if in the future she'll confess to me. But at the same time, since I got rejected, I will just move on from it. It's not like I'm going to keep holding on to that crush or infatuation or、uh, to cling on to it. I, or maybe it's just me, but I will never wallow in that kind of situation, you know,、uh, being rejected. It's not like I'm going to、uh, get depressed over it. You know, obviously you're going to cry for time. You'll, you'll feel sad because, you know, it hurts. It hurts to be rejected. That's normal. But at some point, you're definitely going to just move on from it. You know, you're going to. Dust yourself off, get back up on your feet, and you know, move on. Of course, there are some people, there are some guys who are just completely decided, completely head over heels over a girl that no matter what, no matter how many times they get rejected, they will keep on trying. Although, though that has some good points to it, you know, you can probably commend them for their commitment and their dedication to just one girl, but. Kind of, you kind of have to at some point get a clue, right? If the girl doesn't like you, it's not like continuing 
to harass it, it it borders on harassment if you just you know continue uh invading her personal space or uh, continue asking her out even though she has firmly rejected your advances so yeah it's a fine line uh but at, at the same time if the girl develops feelings later on it's such a complicated situation so i think um showing that aspect of young people getting into romance you know relationships among young people among the youth i think is quite a realistic look into what relationships are really like so i like that they included that in the story so anyway yeah so far not really much progress on either side and i haven't really seen much else about you know the main characters except for the fact that everything that they're doing or rather they're always just thinking of, well not always but they're just mostly thinking about the people that they have a crush on so there's nothing really moving forward yet and I guess in a way that's kind of making me a little bit antsy but it's fine it's just the fourth episode there are 21 more episodes of this so so much more can happen and yeah that's episode four uh i will be seeing you guys again in the next episode thank you guys for watching until the end of this video click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content see you in the next one